Okay, for my second dish, we're doing a dessert. It's a uh, ginger beer pineapple fritters with uh, lemon syllabub and mint sugar. And the ingredients I'm using today is ice, tempura flour, it's Japanese flour, it's uh, specifically designed for tempura, uh, ice and sugar, uh, pineapple, ginger beer, uh, fresh lemon, turmeric, double cream, sugar, and mint. And now for the ginger beer batter. So we've got about six ice cubes in a bowl. I'm gonna add half a can of ginger beer. Pinch of turmeric. And we're gonna add the tempura to eye and for the consistency that we're looking for. Keep the ice in the bowl there just to keep the uh, carbonated bubbles in the ginger beer to stay bubbly still and it's better for the crunch. And here we got a nice batter consistency we're looking for. Set that to one side and it's done. So we've got our whole pineapple here. I've uh, sliced it in half, and with one half, I sliced it again to make a quarter. So you get a quarter like that, slice it in half again, and take the skin off, like so. Make sure you get those little black eyes out as well. And you go down and take the hard bit of that core right in the middle. It's not nice to eat, but it's quite crunchy. So we're going to slice it that way. So you get that nice shape here, nice and thin. So we're going to add that into our flour mix, just flour. And pop it straight into the uh, ginger beer batter. Let's do a couple of those at the same time. Make sure the oil's really hot in the wok. Just by getting a little bit of batter on your finger and dropping it in the oil. So you want to test the hotness of the oil by just dropping some drops of batter in there and that looks fine to me. So we're going to add pineapple. You don't want to drop it in straight away because it will catch on the bottom. So you just want to fan it in like that. So it's going to get a little coat around the batter first and then drop it in. Same again with the other ones. So I'm fanning it in there so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Okay. Okay. You want to make sure you kick the fritters about three or four minutes until they're nice golden and brown. And you just keep flipping them over until you get that nice batter all nice and crispy. Okay, next we're doing the syllabub. So we've got double cream. So get a double cream in there. And you wanna get half a lemon, squeeze that in there. Make sure no pips are gone in there. With a whole lemon, you wanna get a bit of zest in there as well. So two tablespoons of ice and sugar needs to be added to that. And then whisk until nice and thick. And then we have the syllabub. It's nice and done. Yeah. 
So you can see he's noticed it's got a nice golden brown, the colour, and very crispy. You can touch it like that. So I'd say they're done now. That took about three minutes. You want to put it on a nice uh, bit of cloth to soak up that oil. We don't want our excess oil in there. So here we go. Nice. Cool. And to finish the dish off, we're going to do uh, a nice mint sugar. So we're going to get a tiny bit of mint like that, just rip the head off. Add about two tablespoons of sugar in there, pass in the mortar, and just mix up until it turns into a mint sugar. Mint sugar. There we have it, mint sugar. And here we go, you can get the nice crispy pineapples. And we get the nice lemon syllabub sitting on top. Nice pinch of the mint sugar. A nice little lemon garnish. There we go, pineapple fritters, lemon syllabub, mint sugar, done.